Um, thank you, everybody, for, uh, for coming. And uh, I want to thank you all in uh, on San Diego State um, as well. Um, I hope you have um, a good uh, setup over there, too. And uh, uh, we'll get started. So uh, this is, this is uh, my defense. I'm uh, Sabine lawless Raljic, and I will be presenting the a, a experiment I did um, in Second Life. Uh, the title of my dissertation uh, is The Effects of Instructor Avatar Immediacy in Second Life. And Second Life is the environment we are in right now. So let's talk about avatars. What are they? Um, avatar is, um, is from Sanskrit, which means ava away, and atara that crosses over. It is primarily, it uh, comes from an Hindu uh, mythology, it's a sacred concept, uh, which basically means a descent of a deity to earth in an incarnate form. Uh, this is something that we see um, not only in, uh, in Hindu uh, mythology, but here for our purpose, we are mainly keeping uh, in mind the idea of, of incarnation and embodiment. And so this particular concept has been um, reused in um, science fiction. Here I have three examples of um, avatars. Uh, in science fiction, uh, avatars are basically a download of human mind in a computer-mediated form. So in, in Snow Crash, in the, the book, um, hero protagonist, uh, who's right behind me, uh, downloads, downloads himself to um, appear in Metaverse. In the Matrix, in a movie, uh, same thing, if you re recall, the hero plugs himself in and he's being downloaded into this other environment. Avatar, the, new, the movie that just recently came out, uses something slightly different since the, um, the, the form that the human get, goes into is a biological body, although a hybrid one, it is nevertheless uh, used um, dependent on the computer, on the computer uh, mediation. In desktop virtual work, which is the avatars that I am uh, talking about, uh, such as here in Second Life, the users are not controlled by the mind of the avatars that we saw just before. They are controlled by keyboard. Here I give you several examples of what we have here. For example, in Small World, which is a 2D, it's a little person. Uh, Blue Mars, the um, AET zone, which is a, um, a world um, proprietary to the Appalachian State University. Uh, there's another. So they are all here. I choose uh, human forms, but you could be really, um, you could really be anything. But all these avatars are uh, keyboard controlled. Several forecasts in the past few years have predicted a high um, acceptance rate of uh, a virtual world and primarily coming from um, the online gaming. Here I give you some several different type of games that you can see. Uh, world of Warcraft, which is a role-playing game, or Club Penguin, or for example, Second Life or Blue Mars, where these are uh, specifically social environments. Now the interest of these 3D virtual environments for education is that they combine the technology that uh, social networking has developed, that uh, simulation technology has developed, and the online gaming uh, with these different um, technology coming online and uh, free. Uh, this has made things a lot more possible in terms of having um, a distance tool that allows for a sense of space, movement, uh, presence, of course, since you are using your avatar, uh, and some uh, very good affordances such as um, anything that is in world right now you can interact with. There's content embedded inside. Um, I'm currently talking via the audio, and I could also be texting as I just did earlier. Now, most of uh, what you see being created in those different worlds, such as Second Life here, or um, Active Worlds, um, are user-generated. Um, to give you a quick example, Active World Educational Universe uh, has also other universities present there, such as the University of Colorado, uh, the University of London, um, Harvard has uh, River City, which has been a very um, successful 
project-based uh, um, uh, assessment for their, for their class. So um, why distance, uh, why 3D virtual environment for uh, distance ed? Um, <clears throat> Bates identifies uh, four media. Um, there's basically 3D is provides multiple media in a two-way technology. And what this means is it provides four media, text, audio, uh, a tele the, the television, and, and the computer media wrap into one. And you have this two-way technology in which you and I can communicate in this environment, as opposed to one way, such as television, which uh, completely disables the interaction. So. Um, when an interface such as Second Life uh, supports this two-way technology, it really allows a transmission and exchange of immediacy behavior, uh, such as voice tone, uh, tone I'm sorry, voice tone, um, and body language of the avatar. And this is what I am going to discuss on, on, on this uh, presentation. Um, sense of presence that we uh, you saw earlier on the on the slide um, is is a concept that Short Williams and Christie um, uh, defined in 1976, and um, the, the the social presence is basically a feeling. It's a phenomenological um, event. Uh, it is that is not associated with with the technology. It is a feeling that other people are present. And for example, such as now, even though you are not seeing me, you're seeing the avatar. 